everybody. Welcome back to today's Bible study. I'm your speaker, JT O'Malley, 9681. So I have another study on hand here for you. It's about having faith when you're in times of trouble. This is probably going to be a short one. So go ahead and pause this video at your leisure and give yourself a word of prayer before we get started. Okay. The title is Faith in Troubled Times. We are going to start in the Old Testament in 1 Samuel chapter 7, verse 3. And Samuel spoke unto all the house of Israel, saying, If you do return unto the Lord with all your hearts, then put away the strange gods, lowercase here, and Ashtaroth from among you, and prepare your hearts unto the Lord and serve him only, and he will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines. Now, I still use the ancient Hebrew, and now it's saying here, if you do return unto the Lord, this would be referred to Elohim, God, a title, not a name. Then put away the strange gods and Astaroth from among you. That's talking about the ways of the world. Put the ways of the world away from you and prepare your hearts unto Elohim and serve Elohim the him here is referring to God being a person and not a title so that as far as I am concerned is a mistranslation and serve Elohim only and Elohim will deliver you out of the hand of the Philistines remember Elohim is a deity, not a person. So if you truly want to be with Elohim, God, the Father, Abba Yahuwah, Jesus, Yahshua, and the Holy Spirit, HaKodesh, with all of your heart, you must let go of your lusts for the ways of the world. You must give yourselves fully to Elohim and serve only Elohim. Then Elohim will pitch Elohim's tent with you as you pitch your tent with Elohim. Because when you put your lust for this world away and you decide to pitch your tent with Elohim, with Abba Yahweh, Yahshua HaMashiach, and the Rach HaKodesh as one, then as one Elohim will pitch Elohim's tent with you. At first, God, Elohim, the Father, the Son, and the, Sp and the Spirit, will offer you to come and pitch your tent with them. And once you do, they pitch their tents with you. But you need to put away your lust for the things of this world away in order to be able to do that, or otherwise you will be distracted. Now, still in 1 Samuel chapter 7, we'll go to verse 7. Now when the Philistines heard that the children of Israel were gathered together to Mizpah, the lords, lowercase, that meaning the masters of the Philistines, the lords of the Philistines went up against Israel. And when the children of Israel heard it, they were afraid of the Philistines. Now see, they were just worshipping. But the Philistines took it as they were trying to mass an attack. So they wanted to attack. And see, that can happen. Even in today's time. And I have to say it, look at the liberals today. Not all of them do it, but almost all of them do. They act just like Philistines. So see how evil sometimes seems to come out of good. Now we may walk in Elohim's way and yet meet with distress. However, when sinners truly turn from the world, they must expect that Satan will muster all of his force against them and set his instruments to work to the fullest to oppose and discourage those sinners. But Elohim permitted Satan to do it so that Elohim might have an opportunity to prove that when we trust and have faith in Elohim, we shall be protected. Because in this little passage here, this is leading to the people, the, the children of Israel going to worship, sacrificing, and the Philistines took it as, oh, they're going to attack us, so we're going to attack them. 
that was evil out of good is what's being mentioned there. But Samuel knew better than that. And Elohim struck down those Philistines that sprung to attack because of Samuel's prayer. And had so much faith that God would protect them. Showing the children of Israel, this is the, the proof and the true God. Now, 1 Peter chapter 5, verse 6 and through 8. This is in the New Testament. This was the disciple Simon Peter. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Be sober. Be vigilant because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour. Now, the mighty hand of God, that's Abba Yahweh, is what should be worded there. But as I said earlier, there are mistranslations, but when you do further research on these things, you'll come to understand and to understand why that was done and it will help you understand the scriptures better. So the mighty hand of Yahuwah is what should be there. And so Satan may or may not be the cause of a bad situation, but even if he is not, he is prowling around to take advantage of it to distract us from Elohim. Spiritually, the ones most likely to be attacked are those who are not spiritually with it. And spiritually with it, with is like where someone says come on man you need to wake up and get with it get with the program get with the understanding of what you need to do and so people who are not spiritually with it with the with the way that Elohim works the way Jesus Christ Yahshua HaMashiach works those are people who are the most likely to be attacked worried by many problems they the people who are not spiritually with it begin to separate themselves and Satan the roaring lion strikes he is especially adept to taking advantage of people's feelings all too often we are dominated by our emotions rather than the truth of Elohim that has been happening for centuries it is easy for us to get our feelings hurt ignore the truth and proceed to lie to ourselves just as satan did to himself when he was banished from the shamayim the heavens remember it's plural not singular so that is why we must always pray to be guided by the ruach hakodesh the holy spirit now remember we must always make our own decisions Elohim does not decide for us. Elohim gives us our choices. We have to decide what to do. That's going to be it for this one, folks. For any of you who have any prayer requests or questions, go to the link in the video description if you're using a computer, and you'll go to my discussions page, and you can leave your questions and prayer requests there. Using a phone or any other device, just leave them in the comment section. And with that, this is JTML9681 signing off. Abba willing. I'll have another Bible study or testimony at some point or another. Until then, stay safe. Shalom, my friends. And I bear this Bible study in the name of the Son, Yahshua HaMashiach, Jesus Christ. Amen.